So this is the second video in the creation of an e-portfolio on Mahara or Switch. Here you are on, back on your dashboard. Um, and we're going to look at, uh, particularly today, making your pages and collections look more interesting. Three particular things. The one is the layout, then the skins, and then your themes, um, which will add to this interest. Right at the top here on your three lines, we click there. First thing we want to do is actually create favorites in the skin, so the, the backgrounds for your pages. In order to do that, um, we open the skins. Here you have up to 49 pages of different backgrounds that you can choose from, for example. And you can also create your own skins or import skins from elsewhere. Now, just in order to simplify things, I'm just going to go back to the first page and um, I'm going to re-click this as my favorite. It's nice and professional looking and quite simple at the same time. So that is a selection. I can select others so that they're on my favorite page, but I'm going to just stick with that. Then I'm going to create a page. First thing I'm going to do Click on Add, choose a Page, and give it a title, as I did before. One space duration. Let's call it that. And now, if you scroll down, you'll be able to see that we have different options. First option is Layout. So we want to be able to create something that will look interesting, rather than just one thing below the other. Now, for the um, reading portfolio, the interesting thing or interesting layout would be probably to have over here the three rows with your mind map at the top, article, vocabulary list in the form of text, and then your link to the reference. Now, I'll just click that, but I'll show you there are other options. If we scroll down further, you will see that you can choose whatever size um, columns you wish as well as add as many rows as you wish. For this particular one, as I said, we're going to choose that. Now, here we have also skins. Now, as you remember, I chose different uh, a favorite. I have used others before, but going back to the favorite we chose, which was this one, I will click on that and simply save. Now here, my page is laid out. Behind here, I actually have that skin. And I also have the theme, as I mentioned before. Now just to make it a little more interesting, this primary school is quite colorful, so I'm going to add that. Um, but there are other options. Then, in the um, this particular portfolio, for the reading portfolio, we would probably have the image here of your mind map. And um, I would then have to search for the image here on my computer and upload that. But I'm not going to do that now. And save. Then over here, I would probably bring in my, let's just call it um, my article. And just um, write something here so that you can see it. Space exploration. And save. And then over here, um, I'm going to drag again the text here. And let's call this vocabulary. Vocabulary. And let's call it... Um, It would be then the explanation for the word space and save. And here again would be a text. And let's just call this reference. And here we would go um, the dots round, etc. etc. Now here I've got my layout and behind there I should have my skin. 
let's have a look at what that looks like. So here I have my skin, so it gives a bit of a background. Maybe these colors don't work very well, but it gives you the idea. And um, if you scroll down, you can see that I can make it public or not. Let's decide to make that private. And that is how you create a more interesting page. Okay, thank you.